pituitary tumor is a small swelling in the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is located behind the eyes and in front of the brain. So any swelling, uh, even a bump uh, or a mole is considered to be tumor in Latin. So pituitary tumor is a usually small swelling in the pituitary gland. Uh, there are pituitary tumors that are diagnosed because the person has problems with visual fields and with, with vision. These tend to be larger pituitary tumors and by definition, usually more than one centimeter in diameter. However, uh, quite a few of the pituitary tumors are found by chance on a scan of the brain. And these are called incidentally found pituitary tumors or pituitary incidentalomas. Well, it is usually because the person has a scan of the brain for some other reason, for example, head injury or headaches. Generally speaking, pituitary tumors may produce hormones. If this happens, there are signs of hormones of excess, excessive hormone production. For example, uh, patients who produ produce prolactin uh, can have swelling of the breasts if they're male or discharge from the breasts if they're women, or they can have problems with sexual desire if they're men and problem with, with periods if they're women. Pituitary tumors that produce growth hormone uh, will actually cause enlargement of the hands and enlargement of the nose for argument's sake. Uh, so some of these tumors will secrete hormones. Some of them are silent and some of them can be actually quite large and can suppress pituitary function. For example, they can cause lack of periods in women of menstruating age. The blood tests that should be checked in a person that has a, uh, an incidentally found pituitary tumor are prolactin to begin with, then growth hormone equivalent or IGF-1, thyroid function tests, and if there is a reason for this testosterone or uh, hormones that, that regulate uh, female uh, women's periods should be checked. So these are the tests that should be done. Some, some people would also screen for cortisol excess or for Cushing's disease. Uh, this is usually indicated if there is a clinical suspicion for that. So not everyone will do that and uh, the guidance leave it to the doctor who sees the patient. Well, uh, there are very rarely cancers. So there is about 150 pituitary cancers that have been described thus far in the world literature. However, uh, those that produce, for example, prolactin are easily treatable by medications. And if prolactin is treated, then for example, uh, fertility can be restored, periods can be restored. And uh, in, in ladies who have high prolactin and are not having periods, this also leads to bone protection as well. Patients who have growth hormone excess should have it treated because growth hormone excess predisposes to high blood pressure, to diabetes, and it can also increase the chance of developing carcinoma of the bowel, of the large bowel. So uh, in, in, in case these are found, they should be investigated and they should be treated if necessary. Not all tumors require treatment. Some of them will require uh, prolonged monitoring. Some of them, them will require shorter period of monitoring. So some, of the, uh, some of the pituitary tumors that secrete, for example, hormones can be treated with medications and some are treated with surgery. Those that are treated with surgery may require additional treatments, such as, for example, medications, which are very rarely chemotherapy, or, or they can require uh, radiotherapy, depending on the, the tumor size, position, and uh, hormone that they produce.